So doctors have been around for 5,000 years. For the first thousand, you could argue pretty easily that they might have killed more people than they saved. But it's an empirical science. Like they get better and better. And like slowly they learn things over time. Transportation engineering, traffic engineering, we're like 100 years old. We're still kind of in that stage where we're killing more people than we save. And if we are an empirical science, we're going to get better and better. One of the problems I see is that we've become more theory-based than empirically based. Like we think the theories that these early traffic engineers came up with and tried um, is what works. For example, wider roads are safer. And when you look at the original studies that say that, um, you know, there's three studies in the 1930s that we used to cite all the time. And what's interesting about those is like the widest road they even looked at was only 24 feet curb to curb. So they compared 18 to 20 to 22 to 24. And yes, 24 was safer than 18 in that study. By no means does that suggest that 60 or 80 or 100 or 120 feet is going to be safer than 24. But we just sort of perpetuated that theory through time and kind of stopped citing the original research and stopped even looking at it. So if we get back to being more based on empiricism, we can get back to building safer streets and safer roads and really start heading in the right direction and get out of what I think someday will be considered the dark ages of of traffic engineering.